morning, this is Mr. Quigg, and these are the announcements for April 7th and April 8th. Be sure to log into your attendance on the virtual attendance app. Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic spring break and are ready for the final quarter of the school year. We're thankful for the opportunity to have every student back in the building that wishes to be here with us. For many of you, this is the first time back in the school building in over a year. And if you're new to Aberdeen High School, this may be your first time in our building ever. We will again be extending homeroom today and tomorrow for about 10 minutes to help acquaint you with the building and distribute necessary information, including your locker number and combination. Let's head to the nurse's suite to hear from Ms. DeFord. Thanks, Mr. Quigg. For students that are back with us in school, we have worked hard over the past several weeks to ensure a healthy and safe environment. All CDC recommendations have been implemented, including wearing a mask at all times, practicing good hand hygiene, and maintaining social distance whenever and wherever possible. If you are feeling unwell, please stay home and access your instruction virtually. We do not want individuals that are feeling sick coming to school. As the weather allows, we will add additional outdoor tables for dining during lunch and encourage you to sit outside. Stay healthy and be well. Now to Ms. Tadia. Oh. Thanks, Mrs. DeFord. Students wishing to remain virtual have that as an option for the remainder of the school year. If you have an interest in virtual schooling for next year, information is available on the HCPS website or by contacting your school counselor. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be starting up again soon. All returning FCA student leaders need to contact Mr. Applegate so that appropriate planning can take place. If there are any returning sophomores or juniors that would like to be a part of the leadership team, please contact Mr. Applegate in room C213 or by email. All of our athletic teams have games and meets this week. It has been so good to see you on the fields, tennis courts, and track preparing. We are excited to see you back in action and wish you all the best. As mentioned earlier, homeroom is extended today and tomorrow until 745, and first period will start at 750. Again, students at home, it is not necessary for you to join your homeroom virtually. Just be sure that your attendance is marked on the attendance app, which you will continue to do for the remainder of the year, regardless if you are at home or in the building. A recent change to procedure has occurred, and it is no longer necessary for you to mark your attendance on Flex Fridays. You are automatically marked present. And now back to Mr. Quigg. Thank you, Ms. Tadia. Seniors, we are excited about your commencement on May the 24th at 6 p.m., celebrating your achievement at Ripken Stadium for an outdoor ceremony on the field. Your loved ones will be able to participate both in person and online, as the ceremony will be streamed live. As we receive more information, including the number of guest tickets available, we'll pass that on to you. It'll be here before you know it, so please work with your teachers, your school counselor and administrator to ensure that you have met all the requirements necessary to graduate. Well, with less than 40 in-person days left in the school year, that's all for this week. Have a fantastic couple of days.